Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem. So, we are ready to explore. However, there is a problem. We've been wearing the same outfit for a month and that is just completely, completely unacceptable. So, let's go in here. What are we gonna go for? You know what? We'll do a me- wait, is this our last- this is our second last month. Yeah, we'll do a meme month. That's okay. Now, do we want classic or- let's go custom. It's so bad every time. What's the difference? Oh, custom has red stripes on it. Why? Like, what's the di why? Why would it have red stripes on it? I don't understand. So we're gonna go custom, and we're also gonna go no accessory. It's so bad. I forget how bad it is, and then I go on to it, and it's still bad. Okay, right. Um, let's go for some supports. We have Dimitri. We have Happy. We're very excited to find out what's up with Dimitri's stepmother. Let's go. Happy, I must speak with you. I've realized the woman who held you captive was Cornelia herself. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Good on you for figuring it out. You're a little late, though, considering she's dead. I love Happy with her, oh, yeah, like, you worked it out. Well done. What'd you want, a cookie? How are you feeling about what she said, by the way? You seemed pretty upset at the time. It couldn't have been easy to hear all that stuff about your stepmother and the tragedy of Dusker. Whether Cornelia's words prove true or false, any lead is worth following. Hmm. This might not be related, but I remembered something else about your stepmother. If it's his stepmother, it's definitely related. You see, because they're related. She had a daughter. Her daughter was staying in the kingdom at one point, but Anselma couldn't see her. Her daughter? Neither my father nor I knew that the Imperial Princess was in Ferdiad at the time. Oh, that's not what I heard. I heard the king wanted to keep the child away from Anselma, so he hid the fact that their daughter was nearby. She believed that father hid it from her? <sighs> what could he have gained from such a thing? No clue. Sorry, but I'm the wrong person to ask. As she was seeking asylum from the Empire in the Kingdom, Lord Arendelle was obligated to hide the Imperial Princess's whereabouts. If her location had gone public, the Empire would have demanded her return. She would undoubtedly have become a political pawn in the Kingdom as well. The decision to hide her was not my father's. I did not realize until much later that the girl I'd met under such strange circumstances was my stepsister. So then, why did Anselma think it was all your father's doing? I can only speculate, but it seems there was a misunderstanding between her and my father. Although she was the queen consort, in truth, my father and stepmother were not even allowed the dignity of being alone together. And the one who persistently inserted herself between them was their intermediary, your captor. It was Cornelia herself. She hid it from Anselma. I believe so. Meanwhile, she may have hidden my stepmother's presence from Lord Arendel as well. If Cornelia caused my stepmother to miss out on seeing them, exhorted her, used her, and then also caused the tragedy. <sighs> I'm surprised she pulled one over on both of them. She was pretty reckless. But in a way, it makes sense. She loved causing pain. That's why she used me and discarded me without a second thought. I fully agree. Countless people have been subjected to undue suffering as a result of her behavior. That is why I would like your help with something, if that's agreeable to you. You are my only hope. If you put it like that, I can't exactly say no, can I? I wish to learn all that you know about Cornelia. If I follow the traces she left behind, perhaps I can finally learn the truth of the tragedy. And perhaps I'll also be able to find a way to lift the curse she placed upon you. Oh, that would be nice. The people from the church couldn't figure out a solution, so I won't get my hopes up. That is perhaps for the best. That said, I am a stubborn man who is not often inclined to give up. 
I will not allow history to repeat itself, neither the tragedy, nor your own personal torments. If you're going to be so intense about this, I can't help but get my hopes up. But it's not always easy having me by your side. You always need to be on guard. You have my word. Should a thousand beasts raise their claws at me, I will happily send them running. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, Didi. <laughs> Though it might be kind of fun watching you tear those monsters to shreds. Is it just me, or was there surprisingly little information in that? I was expecting a revelation or two. I don't know if we got that. But okay. Also, we heard the nickname Didi again, I think, which was good. But we can always use more of that. Right, let's explore. Uh, anything new in our journal? Not journal. Bulletin board? Eh, not really. Okay, that's fine. Let's head to the Shifty Merchant. Hello. Take me to Abyss. Yes, I am dressed oddly. Thank you. What, what is your point? Yeah. Anyway, so in Abyss, we want to speak to all the people, and then oh, I want to check out the Wayseer again. I've had people saying it's difficult to know exactly what is canon, and that's not entirely what I'm looking for here. What I'm looking for is that if we weren't to do anything, as in if we were not to interact with the game at all, choose some random person, or like choose nobody as our, like, you know, S rank, what would happen, assuming that all the supports were maxed? That's all I was trying to find out, just because I was curious. Anyway, hello. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. The Alliance is a thing of the past now. Times are changing fast these days. It's hard to keep up, even for me. I wonder if Abyss is on the verge of change too. Change leads to uncertainty, and uncertainty leads to... Change? I don't know, I'm just a guard. Uh-huh, yep. Good. See you later. Uh, I wonder actually what happened. Does this guy have anything cool to say, or is he just literally what have nothing? Do you require? Have a look at Felix. Now, see. Marvelous. This one should be proud of their growth. No, okay. Just nothing. How about Dimitri? Now, see. I expect much from this one. Yes, indeed. Yeah, okay. Fare well. he, he, he is just completely useless. I don't entirely know his purpose. But that's okay. Hello, influencer. Uh, running around here. Don't really know, because we can see wh where we can talk to people, but I don't know why I'm doing that. I guess it's just our natural run round. Alright, time to grab our junk. Right. We got a Silver X Plus. That's not bad. Okay. Hello, Happy. Everyone seems pumped about fighting the Empire at long last. Personally, I find it difficult to get excited about killing people, no matter what side they're on. I'm on yours. It's that simple. If you fought alongside the Imperial Army, so would I. Nice. Okay, headed down here, and up to the classroom. This must be Yuri. Yeah, he's always around here. We need to mop up the mess in the kingdom quickly. My family lives in Fargus, as do my people. I want to avoid exposing them to danger. Your family? Your people? That's right. Those who work for me, and with me. They've entrusted their lives to me. They trust me. So for them, more than anything. I hope we can end this swiftly and give everyone the lives they deserve. Alright. Cool. There's a lot of like, you know, we're near the end kind of conversations, but that's okay. Uh... Ooh, the two people around here? Ah, there they are. Hello. Ah. So, Claude abandoned the Alliance and ran off. I have a pretty good idea of where he went where anyone would go in his situation. Somewhere he belongs. Where did he go? <laughs> Good question. Here's a hint. He's probably not in Fodlin anymore. Yeah, I got that. He may be gone, but he left his troubles behind. Now it's on us to clean up his mess. Hello. It's not that I don't sympathize with Lady Edelgard's goals, mind you. But perhaps not to the point of shedding blood for her ideals. Perhaps not. I must keep her example in mind as I chart a new path. Peace in Fodlin and a restored House Nouvelle shall be my guiding star as I blaze my own trail. Sure. Okay. See ya. 
Oh, there's another person in here? Hello. So the Alliance is finished, is it? The leader's gone? That damn prince. Seems my role here is at an end. No matter. Should another chance present itself, I'll take a less subtle route. Uh... Was he going to assassinate Claude? Um... Okay. That, that, that seemed kind of odd. Anyway, maybe I missed a previous conversation that would have linked in. Hello. Why, hello there. Hello there. I just want to have a look at uh, Dimitri. Oh, Big Heart Felix. Okay, we're on Big Heart Felix now. Okay. Small, small Big Heart Marianne. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we'll leave here. It was also now. mentioned, now that I think about it, that we do have supports with Raphael, which we haven't done, and Caspar, which we haven't done. Well, we actually, we did finish Caspar's. Um, oh, wait, no, Raphael and Caspar have one. Oh, that's what they meant. Ah, I was confused, because I was looking at it thinking, people were saying that, I was going to say, that people were saying that we weren't, we didn't finish Raphael's one of us. No, it was Raphael and Caspar's one together we didn't finish. Because I was thinking we finished Caspar's on the uh, Crimson Flower route, and we finished um, Raphael's on the Golden Deer route. So I was like, what, what's up with that? Why, why are they asking me to do it again? And it's because we haven't done them together. Okay. Well, we can do that. Yeah, no problem. We'll just get them to eat together. And that should just pretty much do it. All right. Now it's time to run around the monastery, talk to everybody, do some eating. And uh, yeah, that's about it, really, in terms of plans. We should probably buy some more smithing stones, but apart from that, I think we're good in terms of stuff. How much money do we have? 27,000. We might need to do a single battle week. I might make it something random, like week three. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's run around here. Just just in case we got an event afterwards. It really doesn't matter. We might just make it week four. Doesn't matter. Do we actually need that much? We might not if we're just repairing. Anyway, hello. We defeated Lord Arendelle. The Emperor must have been surprised. If we can keep up that fervor, perhaps we'll capture Fort Mercius and move on to the Imperial capital. We must not be overconfident, though. Um, we're gonna win. You're optimistic. Humans and beasts are ultimately the same. When they're cornered, they lash out however they can. They fight for their lives. Who knows how the Emperor will lash out. We have to be careful. Okay. Hello. Humans and beat No, no. Right. Hello. We took quite the detour. It was time consuming, but finally we got the information we needed. We crush the empire. We get Lady Rhea back. Two birds, one stone. First, we take Fort Mercius. I'll put my heart in it. I'll crack him like a rusty helmet. Good for you. Hello. The ultimate sword tournament. Yeah, I'm Master Seal is so worthless, but I want to chuck Felix into the tournament anyway. Go, Felix. It's worth nothing. It does get us money, I suppose, actually. But their hit chance is only 24%. Oh, no. One to remember. Alright, one down. Next. 31. Oh, okay, they might hit us. Nope. And there's the crit. To be. Okay. Thanks for the money. Next one, only a 24%. Still haven't actually been hit yet. You fought well. Okay. I mean, statistically, we should have been hit. But that's okay. 40. Oh, we're going to get hit this time. That's only because they have a plus 20 to hit as their ability. Too easy. Uh, that's another crit. We've had way more crits than we should have, and they haven't hit at all. It's very weird. And then this one, 17%. Oh, no. It's because Mortal Savant isn't that good. We did the whole tournament without being hit. That is, um... That's got to be embarrassing. I suppose we could sell the Master Seal that we just got as well. Right, uh, let's head out. I'm gonna go this, this way. Whoa, wait a second, what did you say? Where is Gilbert? 
I don't know. Where is Gilbert? I, I didn't have. I didn't even know Gilbert wasn't around until you said, "Where is Gilbert?" There we are, like that. Change the map, friend. Uh, in here. Hello. Just as we suspected, Lady Rhea was taken to the Imperial capital. We must get to the capital as quickly as possible. So many people are worried sick about her. I do wonder when Claude managed to learn Lady Rhea's whereabouts. He's pretty shrewd. I can't help but admire him. Okay, hello. I wonder where Claude will go. From the sound of it, he's leaving Fodlin altogether. He was strangely gallant about the whole thing. Even left his relic behind. Elusive and mysterious to the end, isn't he? Now, there is a problem with a relic. Uh, and I want to show it to you because it was pointed out to me and it's a very good point. Um, if we go to Relic to fail not and we were to hit X on it, yeah, well, apart from the fact it's brilliant, the problem with it is that it's a hero's relic, right? And as a hero's relic, you need to actually uh, have a crest to use it without taking damage. Ash does not have a crest. This is our issue. However, you could use it anyway, and that would be absolutely fine. But it is a little bit of a problem. Actually, out of curiosity, does anybody have the crest by default? I wonder whether there's anybody that's meant to go to. Let's have a look. I mean, obviously Claude has it. What is the crest? Crest of Regan. Oh, I don't think anyone has that apart from Claude, but let's have a look. Uh, I'm just going to go down here. I know we have Crest of Flames. Um, nope, nobody has it. At least that we've recruited. So nobody would, by default in our house has it. I guess maybe it's meant to belong. The only person I can think it's meant to belong to is Mercedes. Because she does have a um, budding talent in Bow. We're obviously not giving it to her because we haven't done anything with that talent. But... Yeah, it's interesting. I think it should go to Ash either way. Uh, but I think it should be used in that kind of situation where we give it to him and then he's in, he uses Hunter's Volley. Something like that. And then he gets a double hit. I think that, like, a really strong need to kill something kind of hit. I think that could be good. Anyway. Hello. Fort Mercius is next, huh? Ah, the memories. Now, apparently it's worth bringing Caspar uh, along to the next mission as he has special dialogue with somebody there. So, we might do that. It's a huge stronghold in my father's domain. The town's completely surrounded by high walls. I used to run around there when I was a kid. Way back when a fortress was just a playground for me. Yeah, those were the days. Um, yeah, it's also suggested... Well, I'm just thinking at it about it. Because it, it suggests that we bring him. There's also a list of people who need to attack the Death Knight. And I was thinking we can probably leave Happy behind now. I mean, yeah, I still want to bring her in our party if we've got nobody else. But um, she is kind of finished in terms of all of her social links. What, what's up with Annette? Yeah, but she's... Yeah, anyway. Happy's kind of finished with all her social links. She's got no real story left. So we might leave her behind for just now. Yeah, you got father dot dot dot. Yeah, we had where's Gilbert, and now we have this. Oh, Professor, good timing. You have to talk some sense into my father. Recently, he's been doing nothing but work himself to the bone. Even when he's taking breaks from training and errands, he's apparently listening to reports, day in and day out. Ugh, he's getting on in years, you know? I just want him to take care of himself. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do that if we see him. Uh, hello, Professor, Squire. We're finally going to attack the Empire? I'm actually getting a little nervous. You're not coming. Please defeat the Emperor and save Lady Rhea. I'll be waiting here with all of the necessary preparations for a huge celebration. Who are you? Okay, fine. Oh, no flower? No flower? Okay, hello. Yeah, harvest. Ooh, okay, we got something from it. Uh, Northern Fodland seeds once more, because we get three, uh, a three cultivation on them, which is really all that we need. Uh, yeah, we'll use that one. Effectively, our tournament just paid for that, but that's okay. Uh, up to dormitory floor two. Nobody is here. Okay. Back down. 
Uh, we've got somebody at the end of the pyre. I think that's Cyril. Okay. Ooh, hello. I'll have your fish. Oh, and your bait. Is it true Lady Rhea was taken to the Empire? Why'd they take Lady Rhea? Professor, they didn't take her to kill her, did they? If they did, they've gone really slowly about it. I don't think so. That's good. We just gotta beat the Imperial Army and get her back, right? Yeah. You gotta help her, Professor. I'm begging you. Alright, Cyril. We'll do that then. Just because you asked nicely. Okay, so around here. And... Hello. Hmm. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Is it true that we'll be assaulting Fort Mercius next? That doesn't sound like the brightest idea. Well, to be perfectly honest, Gatekeeper, nobody asked your opinion. I've heard that it's built to withstand an attack from even the largest of armies. Not to tell you how to do your job, but don't do it. I'm not ready to say my final goodbyes to everyone. Okay. Um, hey, Anna. But the Alliance is just gone. It's hard to believe. The merchants of Deirdre all have nerves of steel. I'm sure they'll be up and running again in no time. Sure. Hey, how about a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Hello. 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 Uh, I would like some of this. Will this one do? Yes, I understand our supplies are running low, but um, it's all yours. Tell your friends. Tea is an important business. Ooh. Have some of your fruit. Don't mind if I do. Hello. Welcome. Uh, I would wish to sell you the bullions this that we got. One? Yeah. Thank you. Can I sell you? I could sell you the master seal this that we one? got as well, because we don't need that. Thank you. And this these one? as well. Thank you. And this these one? as well. Thank you. This one? Yeah. Thank you. This one? This one? Thank yeah. you. Please come cool. again. Hello. Grab that. Uh, nobody else around here. Nobody else around here. There we go. Black sand steel. Let's go. Right. Mm. Hello, Sylvain. Professor. You know, first you get past your oh. defenses. Trust me, girl. Eh, of course. Well, that was not what I meant to do. We try this anyway, again. Anyway, I figure you go after the main gate. You take that. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. I'm a seasoned veteran at this. Uh, are we so far back? Oh no, we're there. You know, Professor. Laying siege to a keep is like asking a girl out on a date. First you get past her defenses, then you make your move. I'm glad we chose that's not the best analogy. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I'm a seasoned veteran at this kind of thing. Girls, I mean. I've never actually, you know, captured any keeps. Anyway, I figure you go after the main gate. You take that out, and I'm sure we can win. Okay. Of course, you're making the tactical calls. I'm happier to follow than to lead. Bit, bit of a cursed one there. What I thought was, uh, the reason why I skipped through all the dialogue is I saw, oh no, I skipped one line. Well, I'll just skip it through and then do the do the conversation again. Then it gave us a question. I'm going, oh no, I've accidentally clicked through the question then. Anyway. That's how we ended up where we ended up. Um, Let's see. Uh, ah, it's these two. Hello. With the Empire destroyed, the borders within Fodlan will likely become a thing of the past. With that, the rules of trade will change. Personally, I'm excited to see what these changes will bring. Okay. The Alliance has really been disbanded? I never thought such a thing could happen. As long as it doesn't negatively impact our lives, I don't care much whether we're the Kingdom or the Alliance. Oh, cool. Have you heard of the Crescent Moon War? That's when the Alliance won their independence from the Kingdom. Some 300 years ago, the ruling Duke of Leicester died without an heir, and the Lords with blood ties to House Blathen took that chance to propose ruling the Leicester territory as a republic. The head of House Regan led the Leicester Lords and fought fiercely with Farkas. They won independence from the Kingdom. And now, here we are. Hmm. Yeah, here we are. Completely chucking that away and ignoring it. Can you just get out of my way? Alright. Uh, no items over here. And we have... Ah, oh, hello. Wake up, eat, train, eat, train, eat, sleep. We gotta prepare for the assault. 
but that hasn't changed my routine. Isn't there more you can do? All that training and eating I do is for the sake of Fodlin. Gotta stay strong and fed to keep it safe. Fair enough. Hello. Weren't the kingdom and alliance once part of the same country? If you think about it that way, it makes sense for them to unite. I suppose the kingdom was once part of the empire as well. Even if Fodlin came together, I wouldn't be surprised if it fell apart again. Yeah, fair enough point of view. Right, we'll leave here. Uh, and now we're heading this way. Through the amiibo gazebo. Thank you for the chest key. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all this stuff. A Garthium. Amazing. Although I'm never using the Garthium weapon because I know that Garthium's rare. And it's just part of my... Uh, I can't use it if it's rare. Also, we got tea. That's awful. Right. After buying it all. I traveled to Kingdom Territory because I was nearby. <laughs> I did some good business. Apparently, supplies are needed to reconstruct the Kingdom capital and the surrounding towns. Hmm. I wonder where I should go next. Well, if that's your business, I gotta say, the Empire's looking like a good place to go. Anyway. Hello there, monk. Ugh, I've come here after getting chased out of the Empire. There's no place for our kind there anymore. But there are still many inside Empire territory who haven't abandoned their faith in the Church of Saros. I pray that one day we'll get the chance to rebuild the church within the Empire. Okay. Well, maybe. Hello, Aloise. Hello. So Lady Rhea was in the Empire all this time. Wish I'd known that five years ago. But there's nothing we can do about it now. What we can do, though, is topple the Empire. Wait, you really didn't think that she was in the Empire in five years that never crossed your mind? Will you seize victory with us, Professor? For the sake of the late Captain! Sure. Uh, by the way, teach me how to punch. Thanks. Um, we got somebody on the bridge. It is Marianne. Really? Hello. Now that the Alliance has been dissolved, what will become of the nobility? Are you worried? No, my adoptive father knows how to get by. I'm sure he'll do well for himself in the kingdom. All of Fodlin is going to change. I suppose I'll have to change with it. Is there something behind me, Marianne? Is the conversation boring you? Okay. Well, I guess I'll go then. Hey, you. Right. Uh, let's go over here and speak to whoever's hanging out. Mercedes, maybe? Hi. It is Mercedes. Good guess. Death Knight. Going to fight the Death Knight. She doesn't look particularly happy. Oh, apparently her line when she said a meal, that was due to the Mercedes Caspar Paralog, which is awesome. You seem concerned. Mm. To be perfectly honest, I am. Oh. Alright then. Well, that was short and sweet. Say hello to uh, Gerald. Uh. Invisible person. You see the shadow? A moment. That's that's not that's not how shadows work. It was a ghost. Right. Uh, let's head through here. What the? And. That's, uh, hello. The Archbishop has been taken to the Empire, just as we thought. What do you mean, just as we thought? Aloise told me two seconds ago, you had no clue. But why hasn't Edelgard killed her yet? If she intended to use her as a hostage, she'd have publicly announced that she was unharmed. We don't know what the Emperor's intentions are. All we can do is fight on and pray the Archbishop is okay. Okay. Hello. It doesn't matter how sturdy the keep. If the commander defending it is incompetent, it can fall as easy as anything. That's what they say, at least. I wonder if that applies to Fort Mercius. All I know is, if I was the Emperor, I'd never in a million years assign an incompetent commander to a fort as important as that one. Okay. I mean, what's your point? I wouldn't... I would assume that you wouldn't appoint incompetent commanders to anything. In fact, I'm kind of struggling to see why you'd have incompetent commanders to start with, uh, if, if, that, if you're going for good strategy. Just doesn't make sense. Nothing along there. Okay, and 
There is no item. Okay, up to... Let me just check. There's nobody on the third floor right now. Up to the second floor. Press the correct button. Dimitri Dadu, let's speak. And hello. From this point onward, we're in all-out war with the Empire. Are you prepared, Professor? What were we in before? I am. I'm glad to hear it. That means we can approach the coming battles with peace of mind. First, we capture Fort Mercius. The fighting will undoubtedly be brutal, but we must prevail. As far as this army and I are concerned, you're our last ray of hope. We are relying on you. Um, okay. Hello to do. Claude has stepped down from leadership, and Lester is now a vassal state of Fargus. The lords of the Western Kingdom are beginning to declare fealty to us in greater numbers also. The Empire is our only remaining enemy. Good. Let's see that we keep it that way. Right, along here. Really? Dash to the right. Hello. Each step closer to Enbar, I'm reminded of another part of my past. Riches and poverty, glory and failure. That city has it all. And if I'm honest, sometimes I miss it. That's how the past works though, isn't it? It's always a different story than what you really lived. Yeah, I suppose. You can see it that way. Um, in here... And... Oh, it's Hanneman. Hello, Hanneman. Fort Mercius is the Empire's single most fortified military installation. Utterly impregnable, they say. I wonder, do you happen to know the nickname given to Fort Mercius? So not like the Iron something? Um, oh, it says Stubborn Old General. Silver Maiden is Arian Rod. Odlin's locket is wherever Hilda comes from. It must be this one. Indeed, a very good answer. But of course, you'd know that. Seems Fodlins give everyone and everything a nickname. Why, you were called the Ashen Demon. Yeah, apparently, although it's never brought up apart from like people saying, yeah, you were called the Ashen Demon. What did we do to earn that nickname? Nobody seems to have heard of us before. Myself? I have been called the father of Crestology. Only by yourself. Which is a nickname as well as a title, I suppose. No, Hanneman. Literally only you have called yourself the father of Crestology. Nobody else seems to care. Nobody else seems to study Crest. I think that you are actually the person coming up with all of these nicknames. That's my new headcanon. It's a way to make himself seem important. Right. Uh, Flayne Setter? Hello. Fort Mercius is a keep that was constructed to defend the Imperial capital, Enbar. We cannot enter the capital without first capturing that fort. But once we have it, the city should be almost entirely at our mercy. Now that we know Rhea is there, we must move with the utmost urgency. Okay. Hello. The Death Knight. I shudder to think of him. Professor. You remember my connection to him, do you not? Yes, he stole your blood. Um, of course. I am still working through the trauma from back then. All these years later, if we meet him, I swear I will have my revenge. Uh, no, you're not coming with us. But you know, you can have your revenge in spirit through us. All right. Professor. Hello. Yes. We're finally invading Empire territory, huh? There's not much we can do right now, except pray for deliverance. I truly believe that we have it in us to succeed. Uh-huh. If we have it within us to succeed, then why do you need div uh, divine intervention? Why not just do it yourself? Why anyway, whatever. Hello. Even in the kingdom, only a few people knew about His Highness and Edelgard's relationship. Me? I always knew those two to be like brother and sister. To think that we would come to see this world where they are at war with one another. I live it and can still barely imagine such a truth. I have a request. Sure. I'll get your stuff. Even in the king. Nope, we don't have the violence. stuff. That's all. That's the only reason I spoke to him again. Uh. Wait. 
Yes, okay, never mind. I was thinking there for a second. I was like, did we fight? Did we speak to Catherine at all? <laughs> yes, she's over here. As I, I usually get training from we her, so. First. Hello, I'd like uh, punching training. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right, then we can head down to the dining hall. We're going to do a lot of eating. So, first things first. Today's special. Caspar, Raphael, let's go. Don't even need to think about it. Uh, I, this. Perfect. Support? No. Okay. Oh, yes, of course. I actually didn't go to the cathedral, but there's also nobody here. <laughs> uh, alright. Weird. Hello. Uh, note from the advice box. Marianne. I want to be helpful, but I lack the self-confidence to do so. Is it okay for someone like me to be here, or should I leave? You should stay, you're more helpful than you realize. Cool. Right. Uh, hello. Professor. Um... Right, so who's singing today? Uh, Dimitri and... Catherine can sing. Dimitri... and Catherine. It is not guaranteed to be good, even if everyone sings earnestly. It is not easy after all. You look like a cat that's been sprayed with water. What? You don't think I should sing the high notes? We all grew stronger. Maybe. Right, uh, head out here. Thought I saw an item for a second, but I think it was just uh, a little blur. Nothing in here. Okay, cool. Back to eating. Um, we want Dimitri and someone else. Dimitri or Gilbert or Catherine, whichever one comes first. Um, this, there we go, Dimitri, and, nope, keep going down till we find Dimitri again, okay, so Dimitri doesn't like any of it, well, sorry, so, Dimitri plus one other doesn't like any of it, so we'll have Dimitri and whoever's first, Gilbert, there we go, eat. Your Highness, did I fail to teach you proper table manners? What? Oh, thank you. I will be more careful. I developed a bad habit these past five years. It's awesome that they have a uh, line together. Still nothing, huh? Right, so uh, done, 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 done. Cyril. Mercedes Cyril. Uh, nope. Nope. Yup. Okay, they like fish and bean soup. Let's go. This is. And. We have a support. Between Mercedes and Cyril. Fantastic. Right. Annette and Hanneman. Uh, Annette and Hanneman. Perfect. Peach Sorbet. This. Okay. Let's see. Oh ho ho, another support. Alright, Ingrid and Yuri. Uh, Ingrid and Yuri. Perfect. Grilled herring. And another one. Oh ho, we've done Casper and Raphael. Uh, I don't think we're doing any with Marianne. Gilbert just had his with Dimitri. Although he also has some with Hanneman to potentially get, but that's okay. Right. Well, uh, how many do we have left? We have one. It's the wrong one. Goals? Uh, might as well just eat with two people. Uh... Yeah, why not Ash and... Oh, because we need two people who don't have full... Yeah, how about Ash and Sylvain? There we go. Two people who uh, don't have full morale. This look Although I probably should have eaten with Happy so that she uh, 
could get some more faith. Right, let's do some supports. Let's do Mercedes and Cyril. Sleep here again? Hmm. There's nothing to cover him with. He'll catch cold if he's here too long. Oh well. I guess I have no other options. I'll have to take care of this myself. Ah! What? What's happening? I'm keeping you warm so you don't catch cold. Um, I'm sorry. Did I make you uncomfortable? I... I was just surprised. Th thanks Mercy. Oh, I'm happy to hear you call me that. You know, I seem to find you in here pretty often. Do you have a favorite book? Nah, but it's always real quiet here, so it's where I like to sleep. Yeah, he doesn't have a favorite book because he can't read, as we found out... somehow. I see. You always seem so wrapped up in your work. That is, whenever you're not sleeping in the library. Do you have many friends here? No, not really. But don't you want some? Having friends is much more fun than spending all of your time alone. Nah, I don't want people treating me like an outsider. I'm better off alone. An outsider? You? Who would possibly say? Oh, so you don't think anyone thinks that? Should I tell you what happened to me before I came here? Oh no, you really don't have to. I didn't mean to bring up such difficult memories. But you know, everyone here sees you as a friend. Even me. I see you as a good friend. Percy, I'm sorry. I sure like everyone here too, but it feels like you're, I don't know. It sounds weird maybe, but I think you're something different than a friend. Different? In what way? Do you not like me? No, it's not that. I can't... You know how sometimes you can't explain things? This is that. If I had a sister, I think that might be how it feels being around you. Really? <laughs> That's just as well. You remind me of my little brother. Oh, you got a brother? I do, but I haven't seen him in so long. It's almost like he's not really my brother anymore. But you can count on me if you need anything at all. I'll do my best to help you out. I can count on you for anything? Wow. Well, that's Mercedes and Cyril being a little awkward. We now have Annette and Hanneman, the Dust Masters. So sorry for always taking up your time, Professor Hanneman. Nonsense. I told you to come to me any time you needed help. Nothing to be sorry about at all. So what can I help you with today, Miss Annette? Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing in particular. Perhaps not related to your studies, but I sense something else troubles you. You see right through me, Professor Hanneman. Okay, here goes. The truth is, I've been wondering what I'll do when the war finally comes to an end. Gilbert had a long career as a knight. I imagine he would smile on his daughter following his lead. Your marks at both the School of Sorcery and the Military Academy were exceptional. You have many, many options. The only trouble I see for you is in picking which one to chase. You've hit the nail on the head. There's so much I want to do. I feel completely lost. Lost, hmm? It seems to me that you're just lacking in decisiveness. You think so? For example, I've already been considering my own future once this war ends at last. I think I might leave Garrick Mark. I've spent a great deal of time researching crests, both in the Empire and at the Monastery. Fodlan is large, with much to see and learn. It would be a shame to spend all my years in too few places. But where will you go? That's the question, isn't it? I've considered the School of Sorcery in Ferdiad, 
it would be good to get a new viewpoint on Crest research. There are certainly discoveries to be made. However, new places are daunting. Yet, I'd have no complaints if I had a former student as an apprentice. Say, a former student who is brimming with curiosity, talented at magic, and as tidy as myself. You don't mean me, do you? I was merely expressing a possibility. It all depends on your own feelings and interests. I have considered that it might be nice to be a professor like you. But I'm such a scatterbrain, and I make mistakes all the time, so I'm not confident I can manage. Those are but minor side notes compared to your wonderful qualities, Miss Annette. You are serious in your studies and possessing of excellent character. You surpass even myself. Do you really think so? Maybe I can do it after all. I truly feel you could. Yes, you could accompany me to Ferdiad. I think that would be most splendid, don't you? I feel like, with your guidance, I could excel anywhere. First, though, we must put an end to this war. The future cannot begin until we achieve victory. That's true. I'm gonna try my hardest to make sure that happens. I know you will, Miss Annette. You have my full support. That was really nice. I, I like I, again. It's another. It's it's Hanuman giving life life advice is much more interesting than Hanuman uh, teaching you about crests. Right and now we have Ingrid and Yuri. Finally, you've arrived. I was beginning to get impatient. Have a seat. What are you on about? I'm not on about anything. Let's have dinner together, Yuri. What is this? Did you make it? I did. It's a simple dish. My culinary skills are fairly basic. Hold on. What exactly is this about? You cook for me, I cook for you. That's how this works. It may not be quite as elegant a meal as that of a Drestian or Lester cuisine, but the food of Vargas is delicious nonetheless. Thank you for the meal. It was lovely, Ingrid. The flavors were nostalgic. Reminded me of when I lived with my mother and the Elder. I was actually born in a poor town in Fargus. The flavors in this dish remind me of those days. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to compare a meal made by nobility with the meager food I grew up eating. No offense taken. To tell the truth, although my house is a noble one, it's also lacking in money. Our territory was struck by famine, and we ate whatever the land gave us, which wasn't much. We took what we could, just like everyone. I see. Well, I must say that your cooking is quite to my taste. Any meal made with so much thought and care is bound to be delicious. I just had a realization. This game has an awful lot of support conversations about food. Like, a ridiculous number about food. I thought I'd bring that up. I was just like, what? Wait a second. Is this another one ending with food? <laughs> Why, thank you. High praise indeed from someone who knows their way around a kitchen. To survive in this world means to sharpen many skills, whether it's cooking or anything else, really. Although I've got to say, I do enjoy cooking. And if my meals can bring a smile to someone's face, all the better. Celebrating victories with friends, Sitting around a table with loved ones, watching someone enjoy the meal I made them. Few things bring me more joy. Have you ever considered giving up being the Lord of the Underworld and becoming a chef instead? <laughs> a chef, huh? You know, that doesn't sound half bad. If you ever do, I'd come to your restaurant and eat whatever you'd whipped up every day. I'd like that very much. I'd work extra hard so I could see that lovely smile of yours. <laughs> you were just too much. I can hardly maintain my composure around you. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Not at all, Yuri. Not at all. 
Okay, and with that, I've been thinking about what we're going to do for the rest of the month. Here's my current plan. We, looking at how much money we have, realistically, it would be beneficial to do at least one more battle, right? One more week of battles. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to end the episode here. We're then going to do probably two eats and a battle because we don't need morale for this one or uh, motivation for this one. And then we can move into attack Fort Mercius after that. So that seems like a good plan. And that should, in theory, get us mostly done with supports. Because what do we... We have Dimitri has Catherine and Gilbert both on the way. Dadu is done. Felix is done. Ash is done. Sylvain is done. Mercedes is done. Annette is done. Ingrid is done. Caspar just needs Raphael. Raphael just needs Caspar. Gilbert just needs Hanneman. Oh, and uh, Dimitri. Wait, Dimitri's not done? <laughs> Uh, Dimitri needs Gilbert. Ah, did I? Yeah, Dimitri and Gilbert. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so we got we got a, a couple of Dimitri. I, I completely missed Gilbert was there as well, but that's okay. Yeah. So apart from that, we're pretty much uh, in the clear. So I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.